Can I use the Honor Magic 5 as a camera, console, TV, and pretty much an all-in-one device? Will it last me the whole day? And how good is the battery life on this? Let's find out. So we're starting off the day at 9.55 a.m. with 99% battery, as you can see up there. And I'm not going to even charge it once throughout the day. Let's go. All right, so the first thing I wanted to do to test out the phone was start off with the camera test. And I went to this great location to take some photos of some nature. And I'm pretty impressed with how the photos turned out. I really didn't give a chance for this phone to rest at all. Bright day sunlight, some great shots coming out of it. Okay, so it's almost been an hour. It is now 10.52 a.m. So it's been almost an hour and we're at 90% battery. So that was without any stopping of using the camera. The screen was on the whole time, max brightness because it's pretty sunny and we dropped 10% power in an hour. Pretty good progress. Another great thing about the Honor Magic 5 is that there's almost no shutter lag. So as soon as you tap it, the picture has been taken. Most Android phones, you're gonna get that issue, but this is like instantaneous. And all of that is with the AI process of enhancing the photo as well with the watermark and everything. So really good for fast snapping photos. Now, I know this video is not focused on the video recording settings, but check this out. You can actually record with log mode on here. So for the videographers that know this, this is a flat picture profile to allow you to color grade your videos even better. Let's take a test and show you what it looks like. All right, so now this is the log movie mode recording and you can see how much room you have. So with the magic of editing from Asif, our color grader, you can see the massive difference this makes. You can actually tweak the settings to make it look exactly how you want with a lot of room for color correcting and editing. Pretty sick. Okay, so my perspective on the camera. Honestly, the AI working together with the hardware gives you very, very good results. I was actually most surprised by the portrait mode performance. The edge separation is very good when you have like perfect lighting situations, but the color reproduction, the HDR, all of that looks very, very nice. And the sharpness, the contrast, the colors on this look very nice. With a bit of editing, this you wouldn't be able to tell whether it's a DSLR shot or a phone shot, especially for within this price range, incredible performance. Okay, now we're gonna be testing out the motion sensing recording on the Honor Magic 5. So we have the screen recording here that, and you guys can see exactly how this works. So the cool thing is Starvin doesn't need to press the shutter button for this to work. All he needs to do is point it at me, make sure the little logo of the running man is on on the bottom left. And then when I do the motion, the phone's gonna recognize the jump on its own and take the picture. So let's try it out. Don't press the shutter button, okay? Three, two, let's see. Got it. Did it take the picture? Look at that, that's pretty sick. I also tried a couple of other subjects for the Falcon Capture and yeah, it works really, really well. Different situations, every single time it does its job super well. Just look at this guy, man. He's standing at the side of the road trying to disturb the birds. What a weirdo. All right, we are now almost two hours in. It is 11.32 and battery check is at 84%. All right, we're on our way to our next event now, which is at the Lemon Tree, and we're going to be using the Honor Magic 5 to navigate to this using Google Maps. So. All right, so now Tarvin has been using a little bit to talk about the OS and the gaming side, because Tarvin yeah. is more of the gamer. So Tarvin, what do you think about Okay, this? so uh, in case you didn't know, this phone is running on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, and obviously gaming has been pretty fantastic on yeah. this, right? Most of the games, we've set it at the highest graphic settings. That's great. No uh, problem at all. Another thing is the Magic uh, OS, right? Yeah, yeah. So Magic OS is very similar to Huawei's uh, operating system as well. So if you have used a Huawei phone, this will be very familiar to you. It's also very clean, and I think that it's just gonna get more cleaner in the next couple of months. But with Google. With Google. That's the biggest point of this phone. It has Google. Yeah, so remember that. So Google Maps and using all of that, uh, I think the coolest thing, to be honest, like for me, apart from everything else, obviously the camera part has been really great. I do love the log feature as well, which is nice, but for the battery life, just that standalone yeah. point, which is why we're doing this video, yep. uh, the battery life is incredible. Like using Google Maps for, what was it, like 25, 30 minutes in traffic? Yeah, 30 minutes in so traffic. So freaking good. Uh, like, we were also recording while using Google Maps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like so screen recording and all of that. Uh, I think we almost didn't put this phone down the whole day. And even though it was 
like slightly worn. Like and it wasn't basic. uncomfortable also. Yeah, like not, not, not uncomfortable. Yeah. Super, super, super worthy for like giving it the title of one of the best battery lives within this price range. The 5100 milliamp hour battery on this is definitely one of the top tier ones within this price range yeah. at least. So uh, really happy with the performance on this. And we haven't even reached the point on this where we would have to charge it. But if we do need to, it's a 66 watt super fast charger. Get it up to what? 100% in 35, 40 minutes? Very fast. Super, basically. super fast. So hold it off views, no issues whatsoever. The motion sensing, the AI that's built in, the, the Falcon capture works really well. I think when we were using it for the cars and stuff, it was great, but it wasn't like very noticeable until I did the shots of the birds, the pigeons flying. And you can see like it, it literally freezes the moment in time. But if that was turned off, you'd get a little bit of motion blur or maybe just miss the shot entirely. So for those kind of situations, whether it's animals, pets, cats, insects, macro, whatever, the Falcon Capture is super, super nice. Okay, so right now we're taking a break from shooting this entire day. I'm kind of tired, but I do want to play some games on the Honor Magic 5. Uh, I think gaming experience on this has been quite insane because I've been playing for about 15 to 20 minutes right now and honestly, the phone doesn't feel hot. Like, that's what I'm quite impressed with. I really like that phones don't feel hot because it's very uncomfortable to play if a phone feels hot. That has been great. Uh, the screen is really nice. Like, I really, really like the screen. Another thing we noticed, which is pretty great, is that this phone has a lot less flicker than other phones we've tested, including the iPhone. As a result, we do not have any symptoms of eye fatigue despite using the phone for the entire day. I was like looking at the screen almost the entire day while shooting, and this is due to the TUV Rayland certification. As for the display, I think it's quite amazing that they managed to place a flagship display on a phone at this price point. In between our journey of trying to kill this phone, we have been watching many different types of YouTube content on this and my personal plus point is the screen vibrancy. It is really punchy and the contrast is at a really good level. It also helps that this phone has a high resolution with a high pixel density. So the image looks really clear and sharp on the screen. Even the viewing angles are very decent, enough for two people to sit comfortably next to each other and watch the content without any issues. This is also thanks to the super super thin bezels which further helps in immersion. It is great that this phone offers something for those of you who look for a really good camera, but for people like me who appreciate other parts of a phone's hardware, it is definitely the best of both worlds. The low light performance on this is actually really, really good. So we ended up having to stay there until 8, 9 p.m. to take these photos. And I thought to try out the different modes in low light with the different lenses, all the way from the ultra wide to the telephoto. And the performance on this is actually very, very good. You can see that it maintains the highlights and the shadows both even in low light and even in high dynamic range situations like with the signboard here, it actually looks very, very good. It's able to maintain good contrast and colors even in low light situations. These photos that you're looking at right now for low light are completely unedited and it does a really good job at maintaining all of those colors throughout. Also, if you're planning to take selfies in low light or use the front camera at all, it automatically switches on the front flash, which like blasts light out of it to light up and properly expose your subject, no matter how dark the scene is. This is really great if you're someone who takes a lot of pictures in the dark uh, or you go out a lot at night uh, in low lit situations. It's gonna perfectly expose those shots, giving you a very nice, pleasing shot, no matter the lighting situation. Oh my God, okay. It is now 8.44 p.m. and we are ending with 61% battery. All right, so we've done movies on this. We've done photo and video almost the entire day on this. We've done gaming on this, navigation on this using Google Maps and everything. And I have not been able to kill the battery on this. So it's safe to say, if you're looking for a great battery life at this price range, it's gonna be an incredible phone for you guys. Honestly, I don't know how to kill this. So I'm just gonna go take some more photos. Now the Honor Magic 5 is a pretty good looking phone. I mean, I really like the front whereby the bezels are really thin. So it really is good for immersion and it's a bit curved on the sides, but it doesn't get in the way if your hands are too big. Now on the back, you are getting this frosted glass like feeling, which is really nice texture. The camera bump is huge, but if you've seen the pictures that we have taken during the day and the night shots, I think it pretty much justifies why the camera bump is that big. 
All right, so this phone is available now already. It's been yeah. available for a while. For a while now, yes. How much is the price? Hey, it's 3,499 ringgit. Which is a great deal. But you're getting yeah. all the flagship features. Honestly, like the camera for me has to be one of the biggest sellers. The camera's quite crazy, yeah. And the battery. Battery life, absolutely incredible. I think we're ending the day with what? Over 50% battery? Yeah, we still have constantly using it. Still haven't crazy. gone below 50%. So guys, if you are interested in getting the Honor Magic 5, you can actually get this phone for 4 ringgits and 80 cents per day which is pretty cheap, right? And also, if you have an old Honor phone and you want to get the Magic 5, you can trade in your old Honor phone and get a 300 ringgit rebate, which is extra value just for you. So if you are interested in this phone, we have some links in the description below. Check that out. And of course, like, subscribe, share, do all the things. I'll see you in the next video.